Welcome big programmers in the today's section I'm gonna quickly show you how you can stream your live camera using Django using OpenCV. Now if you don't know what is OpenCV it's an open source image library API. I created a lots of video about OpenCV check out now link is in the description if you wanna learn deep. Now for this project I cre imported the CV2 and threading. Okay so let's begin. First of all I am gonna create a class. I am not talking about class based view. This is the temporary class what we are gonna use in our function. I named it video camera and I passed the object as the parameter. For the inheritance concept if you don't know python deeply. Now this is my main home function which I am redirecting in the url. So I am gonna use this as the main my function. But I am gonna create this class to capture the video using opencv. Ok so in this video ca camera class I just created the four function. The first and the second one is the inbuilt method. The first one is the constructor whenever our class object is created it will run first. And this is the delete method. This is the get frame and this is the update. So let's start with the init. Now if you know opencv you know how to capture the video and for that I just created the video capture object self dot video and in here you must pass the zero if you got another camera second camera so you can pass one two and so on so now i created the two variable this is the main variable this is where our video capture is gonna store in the frame self dot grabbed and self dot frame equal to self dot video dot read video is nothing but this object of video capture and then in the last threading dot thread equal to target equal to self dot update and args equal to empty tuple dot start. Now as you can see we just imported the threading and in this class we got the thread function which takes two main argument target equal to self dot update. Now update is nothing but this function which we are gonna write later and then args equal to empty tuple dot start. It is gonna start threading of our video captured. So this was the init function whenever we create this object of video camera it will run first. Now let's move on to the second function delete. In here we are just gonna write the self dot video dot release. This is nothing but the release all of our windows or you can say frames. If you know opencv you know what is this. Ok so now we are at the get frame. In here we are gonna pass some very useful functions. First of all we are gonna grab this frame. So we can capture it in here and for that image equal to self dot frame I just created the variable of frames image. Then I just use the ime encode or you can say im encode to convert that frame into the dot jpg image and then I store that image into this and this variable underscore because we are not gonna use this variable and jpeg we are gonna use this jpeg this is the important one. Now if you know what is cv2 what is im encode you know how does function this work. Simply it just give us the image in encoded file. So now what we are gonna do we are gonna return that encoded file into jpeg two bytes into the two bytes format in the byte formats. So now that we got our live video frame by frame in the bytes format now let's go into the update sections. Now the above section just give us the frame by frame latest image. Now what we have to do we have to create a video of that image. So what we can do we can create a loop which can save the image by image and it create the video. So and for that what we can do is we can create a for loop or you can say while loop and simply just read that particular frames. Again it will return the two object grabbed and frame equal to self dot video dot read. Ok so that was it for video camera. Now let's create another function def gen it, it takes camera argument. So this is the important function of our project because in here what we are doing is we first grab the camera object which is nothing but the captured frame and frame equal to in the loop again in the loop frame equal to camera dot get frame we just got the frame in the frame variable all of this is happening in the true while loop it means infinite loop now if you know iterator we are iterating 
using the yield keyword and we are creating an interesting encoded image so whenever we call this function it is gonna generate the encoded video from that particular frames which we just created above as you can see content type equal to image slash jpg slash r slash n slash r slash n plus frame which is nothing but our frames which we just grab from camera dot get frame okay so that was it we just created the class in the, this class we just created the four function in it delete get frame and update and in in it we just grab the video capture and in here we just released and in here we just saved it that frame by frame into the two bytes format in update we just grabbed the frame and in generation we just created the video or you can say we just created the frame of images okay so now let's go into the main function home in here i'm gonna use the decorator which is nothing but the at the rate gzip dot gzip page now first we are gonna try to capture the all of the content and if we didn't got we are gonna pass it in expect section okay okay so in the try first create the cam equal to video camera again and simply return the streaming http response which is nothing but the from django.http import streaming http response and then just pass the generation cam which is nothing but this function which we just created and pass the camera which is nothing but the frame or you can say object of our video camera and then contact type equal to multipart slash x mixed slash dash replace boundary equal to frame with this line we are sending the live server or you can say live video captured camera into the front end so as you can see guys this is perfectly working and i am recording live and my camera is on and it's perfectly working there is no problem in here so that was the easiest way to record the live web camera using opencv and django so that is it for today's guys if you like this video just like this video share this video with the programmer hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video see you guys in the next video till then just code